this is adjustable. So if we're working 15 line, it's the biggest pipe we make. So you know this allows for all level of adjustment. But right now we're making six line. So I go to the most extreme. And lock it in. Um, and uh, so the tools that we use are a, a flex cut knife and punches. Punches that are made just from a chisel set, you know, that we bought at Home Depot and then using a bench grinder cut down. These are similar to what's done at Hamilton. So this one we call the pizza slice because it has the shape of a pizza. This one is the teardrop. Um, we also use, we have a master manual of all the faces we use so that we're consistent. Um, in this particular one you can see the pink highlighting and that was with training Jim. Um, so, you know, to make it more obvious what needs to be hand trimmed as we go along. Um, because, you know, we, we make 22 faces at the moment and you know you can easily forget and make mistakes so I'll put the A in and you'll see that so typically um, with this type of angle I'll just use the knife and, and I'm almost you know I'm really hunched over this when I'm working but I won't do that now and I just come along the, the edge and I feel where the cut should happen so this is obviously well I shouldn't say obviously, but, but for me, this is a, a simple cut, these corners. Um, up here in the, the vertex of the A, um, you'll see it's rounded, and that's um, this actually requires two cuts out on the pantograph. Um, we do the bigger one, and then we do a smaller follower and a smaller bit to get up to the vertex. In this case, this is where I'm going to use the punch, um, the teardrop one. So... I'm going to come in, I'm going to feel my shoulders of the wood, and I don't use a mallet, just use force and push down, and I'm a little off, I can feel that I'm a little off, and that's partly because I'm off because I'm, I'm not over top of it, looking right down on it. So this is not one that I'm particularly pleased with at the moment, but for demonstration purposes you get it. I can actually show one that I did the other day. Um, so there you can see the vertex is nice and crisp.